We have achieved this through a shared sense of civic values, a respect for our institutions and, most fundamentally, a respect for each other as fellow Australians, first and foremost. And this is what has allowed us to escape the sort of communal violence and sectarian tensions that often bedevil countries abroad. But too frequently of late, our leaders have muted their voices and our institutions have neglected their duties in maintaining this compact. Discrimination, vilification, harassment and intimidation against the Jewish community in Australia has reached unprecedented levels. I understand that people in Australia feel strongly and differ in their views widely about the rights and wrongs of the current conflict in the Middle East and the terrible suffering and human tragedy that has accompanied it. But differing views is one thing. What we have seen in recent months has clearly crossed the Rubicon and resulted in one community and one community alone, the Australian Jewish community, being made to feel unwelcome in their own country, fearful in their own neighbourhoods and anxious about the future they face here. This is utterly unacceptable. It is also incredibly dangerous. Jewish Australians are no more responsible for Israel's conduct of this war than Palestinian Australians are responsible for Hamas's terrorist attack that prompted it. And just as all other Australians, they are entitled to exercise their political freedoms and voice their opinions. We simply must not tolerate the mix of mob rule, lawlessness, anarchy and intimidation that has been allowed to flourish in Australia these past several months. It's a do it's, it is doing irreparable harm to a community, but it is also doing irreparable harm to the social fabric of Australia. Today it might be Jewish Australians, but tomorrow it will be another group or another minority against which the forces of the populist mob are unleashed. Down that road lies civil turmoil and national disunity. Staying quiet, sitting on the sidelines and hoping it will all go away is a complete failure of leadership.